welcome to you from Days to Years. We're so excited for you to be here. As you can see, we're not in the studio today. Field trip. <laughs> we are continuing our series, our Working Mom series. And if you're new to the show, the Working Mom series is we interview a mom who has a business. Either she's a full-time entrepreneur or she works in corporate America and she has she's starting or has her own company. Or she might be a Sam, a stay-at-home mom, and she has a company. And every single one of our moms are emailed a questionnaire before they come on the show so they can know what we're going to ask them so there's no gotcha surprises. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like that. <laughs> and then every mom gets the same set of 11 questions and um, that way you can kind of get to know them a little bit better. So I'm here with my awesome co host Hadza. Angela. Hi, good. How are you? <laughs> That's like our signature thing. Thanks. I forgot last time and she reminded me like, oh my goodness, how can we I We had to it? start over because <laughs> it threw me off. I'm like, what are we doing? Where am I? I'm lost. <laughs> and Heather is going to introduce our guest for today. Today we have Holly Gosa, who's a wife and a mom who owns Upstaged to Sell. I wanted to make sure I say that correct. Upstaged to yeah. Sell, which is a staging company. So if you've ever sold a home or you've walked through a house that's for sale and you see it all perfectly laid out with beautiful furniture, that's what she does. And I have used a home stager. Yeah, a home stager, but not Holly. <laughs> um, but, but when we sold our house, and I honestly believe it does help sell your house faster and for more money because it just, as my realtor said, it sells this idea that you're not able to get across in your own house. So she, um, you work with realtors and homeowners and yeah. 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 So if I started, yeah. 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 <laughs> so tell us how you about your family, how many kids you have, you know, where did, are you yeah. from the Tampa area? No, I'm not from the Tampa area. So we um, moved from Michigan. I am originally from Michigan. Michigan. Um, my husband's from Michigan. Born, yeah, born in Royal Oak. <gasps> no way. My husband's from Royal Oak. No way. Yes. Yeah. Royal Oak, the hospital there. Then Beaumont. Beaumont. Yes. yes. Beaumont. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So born in Michigan. All my extended family is in Michigan. Yeah. And then... Um, my husband and I actually met in college, okay. and then we moved out to Colorado. So oh, we lived out in Denver for like 12 years. Okay. Had all of our kids out there. <laughs> no family followed us. And yeah, so then um, we decided to move back to the Midwest. Florida was not really on our radar, um, but it was 2017 and decided, okay, we'll go back to Michigan. My parents are there, grandparents, and um, we were in Michigan for three years. COVID hit. We said, <laughs> we're not going to stay in Michigan anymore. And then um, my brother and um, some of my extended family is down in this area. Okay. So um, yeah, we were like, let's go to Florida. Go to Florida. So we yeah. came to Florida. So wow. we've got three boys. Um, and then married to my husband. Oh, yeah. fun. Yeah. So that's so. such a small world. Yeah. And do you work, so again, same 11 questions we ask the same set of moms. Do you work for a corporation or a small business? Did you start your business? Um, how long have you been in this profession? Mm -hmm. And did you have a degree for this or certifications or how did you get started? In this? Yeah. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a degree in education. Oh. Um, I was a teacher for... Uh, Oh Lord, uh, for, I think it was 14 oh, years wow. it was total. Yeah, um, got my master's in education policy. Um, but we um, moved down to Florida, and I didn't transfer my teaching mm -hmm. license, and so was looking into we. Um, our first house was a fixer upper, yep. and my husband and I um, like to do a lot of those projects, and so it had kind of been like something we were always doing as a hobby. Um, he's a full-time investor now, so does, um, okay. picks up properties off market, typically, um, just residential yeah. properties, but some commercial. Um, yeah. So then I was like, well, maybe I'll like dabble into this a little more than what I have. I had started an Instagram page when we, we lived in Michigan, um, just kind of like right detailing some of the projects some of the rental properties that we were fixing up and flipping and like just kind of like sharing some of that stuff out um and then we moved here and i looked into i i got a certification in um staging and went through a course and all so of that and when you get a certificate in staging is that mm -hmm. like it's an online or you go into a, a school or a university how does that work Sorry. yeah there's some big um like 
I suppose, companies within the, the education world of, of staging. And so they put out different courses and that kind of thing. So um, there is a, a, a couple international um, associations that are kind of like over yeah. the, the staging industry. And so um, they have like certified staging courses that you can take through them. So it's not just like, oh, I just, I just, just created, created a course yeah. and like come and take it. So it's like wow. gone through like some rigorous, like, yeah. you know, vetting and whatnot. Um, so I took a, a course through one of them. RISA is the, the uh, staging association that I'm a part of. So RESA? Yep. So the Real Estate Staging Association okay. is what that stands oh, for. Right. So how long yeah. did it take you to get your certification? So if there, is there a mom out there is watching like, man, I'd like to yeah. be a stager. Like, how, what is the, how long did it take you and yeah. tests? And was it, you know, you said rigorous, so is something involved. Oh. Right. Yeah. So it's um, several like modules. I, I don't even remember. Maybe like 15 or 16 modules, oh, probably an hour. There's workbooks and like that kind of thing. Okay. Um, Back to the the question on here though, I I start I went through the certification class and then um, started to reach out to like just realtors in the neighborhood and like realtors that um, I had connected with mm -hmm. since moving and um, one of them can't say names right don't say names <laughs> one of them in our neighborhood <laughs> said oh there's somebody actually in my office that does staging and I was like great i would love to like tag along with her find out what she does like how it runs like find out the you know business side of things um I had a pretty detailed conversation with her and she was like we're actually looking to sell the business would you want to buy the business oh. and i was like i thought i was just gonna do like little consultations yeah. <laughs> like i'm not a buy the business and so we my husband and i talked about it we ended up um buying the business so we bought upstaged oh, wow. it existed previous to me being yeah. the owner and um yeah it's been great so kind of took on their their all their inventory and whatnot yeah. we actually were in the building right next door when we um first started or they were there and then yeah. we bought it from them there so yeah it's kind of been a crazy journey so it's interesting that's, that's really cool though it is cool <laughs> When you buy a business from someone, sometimes you don't always know what you're getting into. But in this situation, you kind of knew the person, so maybe it made a little bit better transition. What, what, this is kind of off of this, sorry, it's not a gotcha moment, but it just came to me. If you're buying a business from some someone else as a mom, what would you, what advice would you give to someone? What questions should they ask before they say yes? Because you, you kind of knew that person. What if you don't? I, I didn't really know them at all. No. Um, so they, yeah, I, and I have never bought a business before either. So like we, we had started businesses, but we had not, you know, purchased a business that was already existing. So um, a lot, I mean, within this industry, a lot of it is, you know, client base. And so having, they had, you know, a pretty big client base. Um, you know, having kind of the, the business say, finances kind of and like, like yeah. the background of like, how have you been doing year after year? Like, are you growing? Um, and then for us, obviously inventory is a huge thing. So like, what's the quality of the inventory? Right. What's it look like? How are, you know, like, where are we yeah. going with it? And then warehouse space was a big deal. Movers, we, we just, um, hire out movers. And so, um, having that relationship already was a big deal and being able to like, work right. with them pretty consistently. I mean, multiple times a week, we're working with our movers, so. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because they could imagine trying to start this off, <laughs> trying to get a relationship with a realtor, because right. it is all about yeah. realtors and knowing who, because some, there are certain price points too in a house where you're not gonna stage. And then there's other price points where you are gonna stage. And I always feel like, I always, as we like to, walk through houses like that as our thing. Yeah. I've been called a stalker by one of the realtors <laughs> in our neighborhood, but in a nice way, but we sure. used to show up at all of our, our realtor house. knows you. Yeah. I'm just going to stop. Oh, does she? She's so like, I know your realtor. Yeah. She's yeah. like, how about She's like, I love Heather. She came to all my shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's, no, and I will talk no, to No, she people. literally loves you. She yeah. loves you. Oh, good, because I'm the person who will, if I see people, I'm like, oh, well, what are you looking for? Like, I'll, you know, I know I, I, saw, saw, I, I, know I sold a house for a salesperson oh, nice. over yes. in our neighborhood. Yes. Like, yeah. I did. I, I was like, oh, you should go talk to them now. There are, lots are going, yeah. and this is what you can build. And I was talking about the office. She's like, oh, yeah, I better go talk to them now. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so I know my husband, he's going, maybe you should get your real estate license. I'm like, 
Yeah, it seems like so much work, yeah. though. There are so many realtors in our neighborhood. I know. And there are, I mean, there are so many. I know ones. three different ones. So and so I'm and like, if we were to ever sell our house, I don't even know who I would yeah. choose. Like, uh, yeah, because I don't like to pick friends' friends, because I had a friend who was, and we went with somebody, but that's because she listed, side note, she listed a house in our ne old neighborhood, and I went, that's kind of low-balling it. Don't you think, like, houses are going for a hundred grand more? Why? She goes, well, I wanted there to be... And I was like, yeah. but I really need a minimum amount in order to sell my house to build a new house. And right. So we went with somebody else who we, we also, I also believe in if you're going to sell your house, stalk your realtor, see how they put your house up. Yeah. How do they handle your neighbor's houses when they sell them? Because that's your truest way. So and that's, back, uh, uh, sorry. I was going to go back to one of our first episodes where we talk about how to do business. With oh, friends. that was our very first one. Oh, class. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, I always say that about it, realtors. It's just like we are we are a part of their marketing team and it, yeah. like putting out the the best version of your right. house. Yes. And so if yes. they're not a realtor who stages and you feel like that's an important thing that yeah. you want done before yeah. you list. Those two, yeah. It's a big we deal. had an odd house too. It was like this old house and there was this weird room that for the, our five years in that house, we could never figure out what it really should be. It was in the middle of the house. Yeah. Traffic went through it all day long, so it couldn't really be like a quiet sitting room. The laundry room was also on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it? It had four doors. Oh, one gosh. into the garage, one into the backyard, <laughs> one into the kitchen, and it led out to the front door. Yeah. Interesting. And they set it up in two, as two different focal points, and that blew my mind. I went, oh, that's oh. what we should have done. <laughs> Which, all these years. All these here. years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. In society, do you think women still bear the brunt of family responsibilities? So do you think women moms are still the primary caregiver for the kids? Like when somebody gets sick or yeah. has something going on, or is it more evenly split in your family? In, in our family, it is very evenly split yeah. at this point in our life. <laughs> um, but it is, yeah, I do think that women still bear the brunt of that. Yeah. And, when, and maybe even a little bit like that we take it on too. Yeah, you totally, know, like I feel yeah. bad that I'm out of town or I feel yeah, bad yeah, too, that yeah. like he had to, you know, take care of dinner or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, I, like my husband, I will give him like all the kudos in the world. Like he is he does grocery shopping he nice. makes dinner he's like <laughs> it, you know and, and this season has been very busy for me right. um there's been you know other seasons where it was like i was home and working and right you know taking care of the kids and figuring out all the plans for dentists right. and, yeah you know those kind of things and that is what just the thing season to talk about are the different seasons yeah as a mom as a woman and as you know a caregiver it's yeah. all different because I is. keep thinking my season should be slowing down, and I feel like my season's actually going the opposite. <laughs> Some days I don't know what my season is. But <laughs> how I'm in, how I'm in it. But you have a sweet, sweet little girl. I do. I do love Izzy. Your daughter is eight. Yeah. Okay. Second, That's a great second, age third, too. Third. third, grade. third. Yeah. She was born in like July, so okay. she's right yep. before. Yeah. Now. So she's yeah. really young for her grade. Yeah. And she's actually really young for her age. So Izzy is eight and a half, which I think y'all. Some Marines might know that, but she acts more like a seven and a half year old. Okay. So she's yeah. not into, she's like girly things, but she's not like. It changes so fast yeah. though. Cause Please it, don't wish that on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, in the sense that, you know, she's like the youngest and most yeah. maturity love because that was, and, and I didn't even sure. realize that. And yeah. I'm so grateful. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like, but like in a good small. way, like I had those rough periods with my daughter and I thought, she started young teenage years started very early in our house like at five. Oh, okay. and it's just now where i'm like she gets it she understands she'll get have that teenage moment where she yeah. loses it completely yeah and then we'll come back and go i'm really sorry oh so i mean you know I mean, yeah. she does she's some kind of pre school. things high school no, she's, she's high school yeah i mean she does some kind of pre like mom or i yeah. said but in terms of like she still plays with dolls there's so nothing wrong with that <laughs> Yeah. Like, I mean, really loves dressing. Yeah. She makes little eye movies on her phone, which actually are pretty good. Yeah. I'm not just saying because I'm her mom. Yeah. But she, she really is into, like, little, good little girl stuff. A yeah. Lot. So love it. I just don't want her to no. be that teenager. Right. But anyway, we're off And it'll come eventually, yeah. but it's just like, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it just evolves. And it's not every day. It just evolves. Because there are some days where I'm like, oh, yeah, why did I have that first child? What was <laughs> You know, I know later on I'm going to love her again, but right yeah. now, I wish she was away at school. <laughs> yeah, I do sorry. love her. Though. This is not a smooth transition, but I'm going to ask question number yeah, four. No, sure. How do you balance your work life with family, like 
kid says, oh my goodness, I forgot I have a project to do. What do I do? Um, 24 hours. Oh, I'm sick. I have, you have to, you're going to see a new client. All of a sudden a kid's sick. Your husband's out of town. How do you balance all that? Yeah. Um, well, I'm just, if I can share a story, yeah, the school project, shout out to like <laughs> moms on our Facebook mom page. Oh, yeah. I did not know about a bottle project that was due after <laughs> spring break. I was, like, <laughs> that was there. Yeah. I was like, I was like, <laughs> okay, but well, who's your person? And my youngest is like, I don't know. I'm like, you don't, you don't know who your same, person is? This is like the same story, this right? This is hilarious. Yeah. So then I, I was like, okay, I guess Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You're just going to like do us. <laughs> like, I don't know. Who you're who's the easiest do? you can make out of Right, a like a, a black robe. Okay, we're good. A little collar. Yeah, we're so good. easy. <laughs> Everybody has construction paper at home, honey. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, um, those things definitely happen. Work life balance. I am like an all in person when I'm doing whatever I'm mm -hmm. doing. Yep. So it, to my husband's chagrin, like it's just like I'm like zoomed in, focused on an Excel sheet, or I'm like a hundred percent like, oh, okay, I'm taking master's classes now or whatever it is. So right now the season is like my business and doing this staging and trying to build this. Um, he we. Um, work life yeah so and, and i try to we have the weekends that are you know family weekends and we try to business wise stay you know a typical monday through friday right um but our kids are in sports and activities and that kind of thing so That's those things are like job yeah, right yeah yeah so get into those things and just trying to like keep up communication in our google calendar yeah. and like okay who's going to that who's going to this and um yeah, I know this is a, a question later on, but we do have some family um, that live in the area, St. Yeah, Pete. But um, yeah, so we rely on them yeah. for wanting to like take a trip or something like that yeah. and somebody else to come in and support. Sorry, a truck Very, just went by yeah. Yeah. and it's blocking, hit. you can't see it, but there's a UPS truck that's completely blocked the sun and we're all like, what, what in the world? I was actually a little nervous. I, I thought it was too. <laughs> it looked like it was going to hit the building, so we're a little distracted. Sorry. <laughs> it's a big squirrel, not a small one. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> tripped just there. It's kind of like nice. Yes, it's kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway, so you use technology, Google calendars. You yeah. know how to communicate effectively. You yeah. use a village. We always talk about the having village. A village constantly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so like Holly was saying, in our neighborhood, like every neighborhood, there's always a mom's group. And yeah. we have one on Facebook and a lot of questions are answered and asked on there. I've asked yes. and answered those two. <laughs> yeah. Give more than you I don't even me. go to Facebook. I just text Angela. Hey, what's going what's on? Yes. It's okay. What does I get this a, mean? I get a lot of texts. It's good. And then I also text, what does this mean? Yeah. <laughs> so the village using technology, she has a great relationship with her husband. She's able to communicate effectively with them. And also you said your relatives. So they help y'all too. Yeah, so Just my great. brother and sister-in-law are, are about our age. They're down in St. Pete, and they've got some, um, my nephews are, are a little younger than my boys. But, um, yeah, it's it's fun to, like, get together with them. And they, we watch their kids. They watch yeah. our kids. Um, and then, I, actually, my in-laws come and do the snowbird thing. So they're here during the winter. So oh, nice. they, they're down in Madeira Beach. So, <laughs> yeah. Know. So it's lovely need my so in-laws like, to retire yeah. finally. Yeah. My parents are like a year and a half away. And we're like, and they're I coming know. to Florida. So my yeah. yeah. parents are retired, but I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. They've been retired for years. Yeah. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you've kind of talked about number five, about how you think about extended family support. Yeah, I will just add, when we lived in Denver, we had a crazy good, like, friend support system. Yeah. We had no family out there, and, like, those early years are a lot, you know? Yeah. It's just, like, there's so much. We had, um, which I loved, and I don't know if anybody else does this around here, but... Um, a babysitting co-op oh, we did that what we did with my mom's group we yeah. had a babysitting co-op and it was the greatest thing it was so what is this yeah, yeah. no <laughs> like you, well in our case everybody got so many points you started off with oh, we did a point okay. thing because there were 60 members in our group well, oh my god started this for us i don't know and so you got like i don't need yeah, this anymore. so you got so many <laughs> points and each point was worth so, an hour per kid or so and it was based on how many kids you had like you did it's like one kid, person with six kids and one person with one kid didn't get the same sure um oh, but it was like they, it was to encourage like trading yeah uh, child care yeah and then sometimes they would do a big date night and it's usually like a mom whose husband was out of town and she'd yeah. go 
hey, you know, my husband's out of town, your husband's out of town, why don't we just have everybody drop their kids off here yeah. in their kids' pajamas, we'll do pizza, yeah. and bring sleeping bags, so if they fall asleep, they just fall asleep, and then you come back, and it would be great. Yeah. And we would do this also, like, at Christmas time, like, you know, any time, but it was great. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it was, and, like, when we were moving, because, again, we had no family, yeah. and we were moving and in between houses for a while, it was great to just go can I drop my kids off? I have to go close on our old house. Right. And I don't yeah. know how many hours it's yeah. going to be because there's financial problems with the buyer. Oh. And I don't know if this is going to yeah. really happen. And it was just great to know, to have yeah. that friend support to go. Cause we evolved beyond that after a while, mm -hmm. certain friends who I knew I could just take my kids to them. Yeah. And if they kept them overnight, they kept them. Like there was, my kids didn't even think twice about right. it. They were just like, yeah, I went over at their house and you know, they knew they were going to be fed and they knew, okay, my son doesn't eat real food. <laughs> Still doesn't at 12. Yeah. So they just worked. Like, nobody ever went, I'm going to force you, because they just knew it wasn't going to work. Now, right. I think there's an actual thing for him. I've been reading about this new disorder for oh. food. Interesting. <laughs> he only eats grilled cheese and chicken tenders and, okay. and yeah. applesauce. So let's go back to his talk. How can we get this started? We well, you could totally do yeah. it. Yeah, let's talk about this. Like, it, we, we did ours a little bit differently. We had, there were a couple different groups, yeah. but it was basically a max of four families. Yeah. And so and one then, Friday, yeah. we would do it every other Friday night. One Friday, one of the parents would have all of the kids, kids yeah. at their house That's for another like way four to do it hours, too. like I've five to nine. Ways of doing and this. then Erica, we would switch. Are you listening to this? Yeah. <laughs> Performing a, Valerie, I'm on a co-op. Babysitting co-op. <laughs> Start. But it was just nice to have friends who you knew yeah. were, were going to treat your, take care of your child the same way that you, you know you would want your child taken care of. Yeah. Yep. Like I just especially when my son got hospitalized and we didn't know that he was going to be hospitalized. Oh my goodness. And we left my daughter at home that day and we were at Children's for seven hours, and finally texting my friend. I know your parents are in town, but. We don't know if he's gonna stay. We don't know what time. What's it? Where's yeah. Emma? I'm like, she's at. She wanted to stay home because she was in middle school. She wanted to stay home. It was Christmas br winter break. Okay. So you know, she wanted that time alone in the house. Yeah. For a teen. Um, but she just went over and picked her up and said, "Well, until you know, she can come hang out with us." My daughter's best friends with her son. Oh, nice. Yeah. She ate spaghetti, told me it was the best spaghetti she ever had. I disowned her. And then they ended up going, you know what? So you can go to a friend's house, but you can't tell them their food is better than me. Yeah. Oh, no. Unless they're, yeah, I mean, they're getting in your mom. Yeah, exactly. If it was Mexican food, I would totally be there because they were Hispanic. But I was like, this is Italian food. <laughs> okay, so you cannot do that. <laughs> you should be really good Mexican food. But yeah, no. And then she just said, you know what? No matter what time you get home, why don't you just do a sleepover? And so they just went back to my house, grabbed some of her clothes. And that was the other thing. We called ourselves sister wives because our husbands both traveled. We will traveled. not be calling ourselves that, okay? Because <laughs> our husbands traveled so much. Sometimes I was literally taking one of her kids to an event that my kids weren't even going to. Sure. Because she was taking my kids to yeah. something else. With their... So we were always like, hey, yeah. where are you? Oh, you're at the start. Can you grab me a loaf of bread? Like, there was always that going on. Yeah. I always say, we're, these awesome. are my work yeah. wives. And right. I'm your work wife. I'm yeah. going to say that. Yeah. We're not calling ourselves sister wives. You're <laughs> Actually, what if, no, no, we actually call ourselves co-wives, co-wives. Speaking of boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of boundaries. Our husbands were never home. Mine's home, man. Okay, do you create boundaries? Okay, so how many employees do y'all, you have employees, but you already outsource most of your things, and if you do have employees, how do you create boundaries between right. working with them versus personal, private, how do you? Sure. Uh, yeah. Um, so we have uh, four ladies right now that are um, like working with us. They're all contract workers. Okay. Um, I think I know and one. And then we have one. Um, then we then we work with uh, the moving company. So okay. that's just like different guys yeah. every time. But that's uh, a little bit separate. Um, yeah. I don't know that it's been like a, a well thought out um, like boundary setting. I I'm pretty like open and honest with most people yeah. about most things and so um i want to enjoy the people that i work with and right. like that we like come to work and enjoy the work that we're doing right. and doing a good job and then also like that we enjoy each other's company yeah. um so that has been i i think has been like a, a good thing there are uh boundaries as far as like time and like work-life balance right. i am not great at <laughs> um so like like i said if i am like working on a project i like zone in and then my son will come in like are you still working i'm like oh, <laughs> I yep i am still working okay i'll turn it off what do we want to do go on a scooter ride you know yeah. so yeah. um yeah because i think sometimes just in my opinion 
<laughs> it's easier for me sometimes to create boundaries with the people I'm working with than maybe like my family. I don't know. Yeah. Like because last mm -hmm. night Izzy likes getting snuggle time. So that's and I like that too because she's our only kid. Okay. Once she leaves, it's my husband and I, and we'll just look at each other, and look at the walls. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. So she loves snuggle time, but yesterday I was working on PTO stuff, I was working on Girl Scout stuff, and I was thinking about this, making sure everything, all the boxes were checked so we could have a successful podcast. And I'm like, I can't do snuggle time tonight. Yeah. Because I'm working on all this stuff. And yeah. I kind of felt bad, but I, I still worked on everything. And I should have just put it away and done the snuggle time. Yeah. It's hard. So That's it's hard for me. For the oh, family, yeah. it's harder for me to do boundaries than it is the, yeah. for the people that I work with. Because it's yeah. you don't feel like you're going to disappoint a family member as much. That's it. Yeah. 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 No, I know. Yeah. It is hard to find that balance, and I'm like very much an introvert, so like knowing like when I've hit my limit too, and like okay, I need a minute. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need to just like go, and I've got a house full of boys, so it's just like <laughs> it's loud and rowdy, and like you know, it just gets a little crazy sometimes, and I'm like. I just need like some softness. Can I have like yeah. some quiet yeah. and some like light music or whatever? <laughs> so, so yeah. one of our last interviews, we interviewed Lakshmi. She has this fabulous crown. I she just go? met her. Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, she, she is. She is fabulous. Isn't she gorgeous. Yes. She's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. But she has this wonderful crown in this glorious closet. You should go over there and just try it on. It makes you yeah. feel like a new woman. Oh so yeah. You <laughs> if you need that soft moment, try on that crown. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. A sari and the crown. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. Yeah. yeah. We had a good moment. Maybe. That's awesome. All right. Number seven. I think that's Heather. Yeah. So if a young mom is transitioning from stay-at-home mom, mid-career, or mom wanting to make a change, what advice would you give her? Um, Just generally? Uh, generally. Okay. Not specifically into yeah. your field, but... I Because you did change from I education did. to staging. Yeah. 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 Um. I think it like just test it like start talking to people <laughs> like okay. trying it out like and getting into it and like start doing things I mean it's it, any field right is like there's so much learning that has to be done right. like and a lot of it you can't just like read a book about right. like in, in education the same thing right like you it is important to like get your certifications and your right. degrees and whatever in in certain fields but um, there's so much like hands-on stuff. So like going yeah. and shadowing people right. and like just asking if you could tag along or, um, you know, looking into what is out there as far as like for me and staging, like, okay, there's staging certification courses. Right. Like, what does that look like? How do I like, take yeah. that? You know, yeah. like how do I get, um, more involved with it? So. But yeah. you also do a lot of networking. Like you started a networking group, right? Um, I didn't start the group. Um, somebody else in the neighborhood had started it, but yeah, I'm a part of a handful of networking groups. So, um, I love that though. I love meeting new people. I know that's not everybody's jam, but yeah. like, it's just like, Ooh, this is intimidating <laughs> to like meet a bunch of new people and ask all the, like, right. how many kids do you have right. questions and like, what, what do you do, do for work? <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of thing. Well, just like those basic, like intro right. questions that you always ask, um, new people, but I, I like that and I love like making connections like you're saying yeah. like oh I know so and so is looking for a house like yeah, I should yeah. connect them with yeah. the builder or whatever. I love doing that like I do but it's just I keep I don't know my husband and I just had the talk of so when are we going back to work <laughs> until, oh, and I'm looking gosh. I'm going well you just booked three vacations for, for <laughs> until December so he thinks a new employer is going to give me all this time off. Yeah. I mean, as it is, we booked the ki the Christmas vacation at the wrong time because we have to pull the kids out of school a week early. Oh. Because they pushed winter break back a week yeah, this year in case you didn't know that. Yeah. December 27th. Yeah. December what? 22nd. Okay. It's the Friday right before. Yeah. So what we, what Hillsborough County had last year, I don't know if, I, I track all the different school calendars because I like to know. I come from the airline industry, so I always oh. need to know when everybody's out yep. based on where I'm taking my kids. Sure. So, yeah. That's so what Hillsborough County had. It yeah. was great that first week because Hillsborough County was in school and I could take my kids. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah. So. I do, I do have a little bit of a follow-up question. On, yeah. Um, about a mom if they want to change right. specifically for your field. Sure. Because staging is, not everybody understands it. Like when we moved to the townhouse, the Sandy Springs townhouse before we left Alfred Town. There's been a couple of <laughs> we had a stager, yeah, because the market was competitive, right? And we wanted to sell it quickly for as much as we could, right? Yeah, and so we got educated on what a stager does, and we 
put the money down it was yeah. well worth it because it did sell for more yeah. and yeah. it sold more quickly if someone wants to go into staging yes you get certifications you want to make sure you get the right school you want to make sure you're networking that your spouse is open to you yeah. supporting you for the different seasons yeah you know how much time did it take for you to do the certifications and then how many hours a week would you say that you do for for networking because people always want to know like oh you do this and you're successful but how sure. much time does it take sorry i just thought about that so yeah true. the certification is as much time as you want to like dedicate to it i mean there's all sorts of courses and things that you can um take and it's at, at some point like you just have to jump right like you've got to like if you take all the classes and that's me like i'm like i want everything in line before i actually do the action but mm -hmm. i like right. I would say this is very much a, we are building this plane in midair <laughs> situation. Right. Like when I jumped in the deep end, set up fire <laughs> business and I was like, Oh, okay. I got to figure out like how to do QuickBooks and how yeah. to do, you know, like how to hire people. And I, there's only so many hours in a day, you know, so I can only do so much and also want to see my family right. and spend time with like right. the people that I enjoy spending time with. So, um, Yes, the hours for like a, a basic um, certification class, I think you could probably get done within like a week or so. Okay. Networking, I am, I'm usually like two to three networking groups. So I have um, like at least an hour a week that I'm doing that. And then I'm a part of like a business coaching um, group right now. So um, that has been really helpful to like be accountable to somebody that's like, okay, what are your goals for, you know, the next right. 30 days? What are yeah. your goals for this quarter? Are those kind of things. Um, and then, yeah, keeping me accountable to actually doing something to hitting those things. So um, it's a big, um, staging is a big undertaking if you're doing the vacant. I mean, it's a lot with the inventory and staff and that kind of thing. You could definitely do like consultations and just have a consultation based business. It would not be as, um, full-time I would say how do you have a consultation based staging business I've never heard of this before so. uh, just basically go into houses alongside of realtors and and give the homeowners like tips and tricks on how to use their, their own stuff with their own yeah yeah wow. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So we, we will do a consultation. We do lots of consultations, but okay. then we'll um, typically we then bring back stuff as well. So like you took down all your family photos. That's great. Now this wall is completely empty. Yeah. Let's bring in some art, you know, like, yeah. so we'll like make some suggestions of things that we can bring back. And then obviously we do completely vacant houses as well. Um, so yeah, kind sense. of across the board, but. Some people just have, you know, art and accessories and they'll like keep it in their basement or in an extra spare room or yeah. something like that and don't have like warehouse space and all of that. So, yeah. so there are different levels. If, you, or if you're thinking about staging, yeah. there are different levels on how to get in. I didn't even know about the cons consultation part. I think that's, I that's, think that's, that's really great. smart. It is. Yeah. Cause I had a, my, we've sold three houses. Our first house was just a total cookie cutter mm -hmm. and nobody cared. All of our family photos. I mean, we just got married. All of our family photos were up and my cats were running wild. Yeah. Garfield? No, Bob and Hank. Oh, see, I don't my know. first two. I'm Eli a fan of Garfield. Garfield. I'm getting a shirt. <laughs> if I want one too then. Okay. <laughs> He's bad. He I'll got thrown in the garage goes. again last night. Make me a Twinkie and shirt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like that, for, then our second house, our realtors came and said, take all your family photos, but we had already, we already knew. We're one of those, like, we never sell our house at the last minute. Sure. We take six sure. months going, we're going to fix that up. Yeah, this needs to this. come out. Yeah. We'll rent a storage unit and move stuff oh, in your there. stars. <laughs> my yes, husband, that's my amazing. husband knows Love exactly that. what he, 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 he doesn't move quickly on any big decision. We did okay. one in 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> no, but our last house said, we're like, let's move to Florida. Yeah, she did. Yes. Whereas my husband, it was COVID. So we kept waiting for this job offer. And then they decided because it's a, a kind of a government, quasi government job, they had to start the whole process all over again when he was down to him and another person oh, no. finalist. Yeah. Then he was like, I'm not doing this again because it was a long it was like a six month break. He goes, I'm not doing it. I don't have this kind of day. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You're exempt from doing it all. We just have to reintroduce. But then it was like, okay, here's your job offer. Can you be here next week? No, I have to sell a house. Yeah. We can't afford yeah. to we buy another house life, right. without selling this house. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think those are more fun. Like when we moved from. No, but he was gone. Bar. I did it all. all in here. <laughs> we moved from, no, we moved from Texas to Georgia. This is back when I used to be an engineer. I had three days to find a place to live. Yeah. We flew from Texas to Georgia. We had three days. Yeah. Wow. To find some place. That was it. <laughs> 
that was it. I mean, <laughs> there is something to it when it's like, I just have to do it yeah. instead of having there the was, like yeah. analysis paralysis yeah. and just like, there was oh, a lot, but I, so I remember taking my problem. husband yeah. to the airport, putting him on the plane and going home going, okay, so it's me and two kids and I need to get this house packed. Yeah clean and i remember the movers yeah. came one day what was it they packed one day and the next day they loaded up the trucks and the next morning it was like 10 a.m they were supposed to come and start staging our house and i'm like it was all hardwoods and we had pine trees like 200 foot pine oh, trees that's I, gonna be beautiful it was though. gorgeous and but i mean trying to get that house clean after my son's room was emptied i went this is where all the candy is. <laughs> this is where all the garbage is in our house. Here. And thank God we had a central back because I just went through and just vacuumed yeah, everything yeah. up. Cat fur. Everything just got vacuumed up. And then then they called and said, we're running about an hour away. I'm like, oh, that, that's perfect. Fine. In fact, take two hours. Go to lunch before you come. Because I'd like to, I now have to, because I'm supposed to have the house spotless. Okay. And I'm like. I'm just going to spot clean the floors because I don't have time. I think we're going to have yeah. to take a quick break because I think Holly is getting someone to come in. We'll be right back. Okay. And we're back. Um, so tell us about a mo when you have a moment or moments of self-doubt, self-defeating thoughts, or negative messages coming at you. How do you keep going? Mm. How do you put it behind you? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think on this one. That's hard. Uh, private. <laughs> um, we'll do it I, a lot of times, I mean... I'm a crier, so I will just like, if I'm like in a down spot, I'll, I'll just have a good cry. I'll yeah, be, like, be yeah. standing in the shower, have a good cry. It's good. Uh, a lot of, you know, just like chatting it out with my husband or friends. And um, I like to listen to music to like pump myself back yeah. up yeah. Um, or just like go back. I do, I, I have not been consistent with it recently, but I had been really consistent with like doing a gratitude journal and like keeping like my wins on, in a journal. That's so a like going idea. back to like my notebook of... of like wins and like, yeah. yeah two weeks ago was actually really great. You know, yeah. like I feel like really down on myself this week, but yeah. like we, we've had a lot of like wins in the last whatever. So right. I, I feel like I try to maintain a pretty positive attitude about most things. And right. so, um, yeah, it's hard to like kind of get me down, but I do. Yeah. I, I have those moments just like everybody. So, but that's good. I mean, the crying thing, like some people think, oh, women cry too much. Honey, men cry too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just the crying, you release something. Oh yeah. I don't know all the technical names, but you do release something. It's a crying. hormone. Yeah. It's a hormonal thing. Yeah. And so crying is a great way of doing it. I, I never thought about the gratitude journal. That's another great way. Cause I think a lot to of times. To be able to look back. Cause I always right. go. Cause I look at the, the negative gratitude things. gratitude journal, but I never thought I about going back things. to look at oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, That's a great idea. When you're in that moment and when things are not going well, right. we talk about seasons, a lot of seasons. A lot of seasons. You focus on what's not going well in that season. And if you have a gratitude journal, you can look back. Oh, just yesterday I had, like you said, I had this win. Yeah. Or this wonderful thing happened because sometimes I focus small on things, especially when you're under a lot of stress. Oh yeah. And my family has been a lot of stress building this house for 17 yeah. months. Still Could better, have been down the street better. from me already, but, but it's not my fault. We tried to get down the street. I wish I would have. That was where we wanted to live. I wish I knew then. <laughs> but it didn't work that way. <laughs> Still but then a little you bit. wouldn't be by Erica. That's true. Very soon. But then you'd have access Very to my phone. Yes. Friday. We closed Friday. Friday. <laughs> Still a little better. <laughs> but I tend to focus on the not so great things, especially when you're in a season. And I think right. I probably need to do that gratitude journal. I should have probably done it during that 17 months of building that house. Start, start it now. Start, I should start it. So start it today. Hard. I'm in a good season now. <laughs> you're on the you're downhill. Gonna to, you're going to have the pages of I gratitude. I literally just had this conversation with my daughter about the downhill because yeah. she's in ninth grade and she's just like, oh, I can't wait for next year. It's going to be so much easier. Oh. And I looked at her and went, do I break the news now? And I really said, you know what? You're already a bad man. Just so you know, next year's harder. Yeah. <laughs> you signed up for all honors in AP classes for 10th grade, and you think this year is hard? Yeah. Next year is going to kick your butt, but I'm here. Yeah. She's like, what do you mean? I said, honey, you're on the upward of the hill. Yeah. You, you've got a, and you're at the bottom of that upward Second of the hill. Second semester, junior year, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After you're in, applied for college. She's right. Like, and that's when she goes, what if I don't want to go to college? I said, you need to go talk to your father. You know how I feel about it. I'm all for the gap year. Your yeah. father thinks that's a waste of time. Well, you know, some of us are, have those old school ideas like me. So, you know. No, my husband is definitely old school on all of that. Yeah. And, and I go, you know what? Sometimes you just need a break. She's worked really hard just this year. I can't yeah. imagine the next three years. Yeah. 
And we have family overseas, so I keep going, you can go stay with family. That sure. Be fun. Yeah. Work as a nanny for somebody. Yeah. They yeah. live on farms. You can go work the farm. Would she work on a farm? No. She won't she even babysit. She won't even babysit because kids are gross like and yucky. Kids. <laughs> she do animals. I don't know. She takes care of cats, though. She does. A girl will... He, no, he, she, he babysits, a lot. she babysits people's cows. Oh, okay, okay. She'll clean litter boxes. She's not afraid of that. Okay. Well, maybe she would be And she'll pick up dog poop as well. Oh, okay. Number nine. The kids are needy, and she's not a needy person. Oh, yeah. That's why we don't are fine with her never dating. Oh, yeah. Number nine. Are you led by guilt or grace? Do you give yourself and your family time to make mistakes, or are you learning to give yourself grace? So one of the, I keep saying <laughs> mantras, the ideas, the phrases, something we're all trying to live through is, on this show, is going from guilt to grace. And from superficially multitasking to superbly managing your time. <laughs> she says that because I can't hey, say it. Yeah, so, I don't know that I can say that. Superbly I, managing my superbly time. Superbly managing our okay. time. Superbly, but sometimes it's subpar managing time. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you're just getting from one end to the next. Right. Some days I'm just going from one coffee to the next. <laughs> I would say I probably, le I am long suffering is what my husband has said with other people i am extremely hard on myself so i probably lead by guilt for myself okay. and often with grace for other people so oh, yeah i understand that i actually totally yeah yeah, yeah. it's um i mean it, it i've is never heard like, anybody say that but that is like you just described to me yeah i can put up with anything from anyone yeah, to a point. Like, to chill, a like, point. Ah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. And then, and then I'm always like, I'm so sorry. I'm always the one apologizing. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Okay, well you're not that late. Well, but you know, I was trying to do like ten other things before right. I left the house. Yeah, I say that's an optimistic trait of mine. I'm yeah. very optimistic about my time. I am too. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> I also. can get all ten tasks done today. Yes. <laughs> nope. No, <laughs> sure can. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's. So with your family, though, you give grace, which is wonderful. But yourself, you're not doing that as much. And I, I think that's... curious to ask them what they think. <laughs> you, and you probably do, because as moms, we are unfortunately led by a lot of guilt. We yeah. are. If, you, if you're a full-time working mom, I'm not spending enough time with the kids. If you're a stay-at-home mom, I'm not making enough money no. to bring mm -hmm. it to my family. So we never seem to, or we're trying to work towards having that balance where we can have grace with ourselves. Right. And I struggle with that as well. Like yesterday, like I said, you yeah. know. Izzy wanted a cuddle time. I'm like, I need to work on PTO stuff. I need to work on Girl Scouts. I was enrolling two Girl Scouts for the Girl Scout troop at like midnight. Yeah. But yeah. I should have cuddled with my daughter. And then I feel bad about it. And what is it, like 12 hours later? I need to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll but make up for it today. Like you'll do maybe a couple more minutes of yeah. cuddle time. I will. And sometimes I try to talk to my kids about those moments too. Like this is what was going through my head. It wasn't you. Yeah. This is what I was thinking. And I wish I hadn't felt that way. Yeah. yeah. Especially when I like yell. I'm a yeller. Yeah. I come from a yelling family. We just have to get it all out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're yeah. a loud yelling family. Yeah. yeah. And the more the louder I am, I, it's almost like crying, the better I feel after. So sometimes when I'm in the house by myself, I will do a big. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> just like let it out. Just yell. let it out. And I yes. feel so much better after. Interesting. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going to say that before. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Sometimes like yelling into a pillow or like punching yeah. a pillow. Yeah. So much better. Better afterwards. than sometimes eating Why? chocolate in the closet. I'm just saying. Yeah. No. Oh, no. The chocolate in the closet does nothing for me. Oh, no? No. Nothing. I get nothing out of that. No. <laughs> what kind of chocolate do you eat? I'm just, we talked about that. I'm not a big chocolate person, oh, remember? Right. You're on my. I did buy a thing of Reese's peanut butter cups that I've been that's not real chocolate. slowly pulling out of the refrigerator. Real chocolate, yeah. No. I only like I junk chocolate. I only like junk chocolate, is what we've determined. Yeah, okay. So we've decided. Yeah. That. Mm. But, you know, if I had a Twinkie, though, I could eat the whole case some days <laughs> and feel better about it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Sidebar. So, <laughs> I went to this all Catholic girls. Girl oh, right. Thing, right. Okay. And they would have Twinkies every week. For six months, people kept finding worms in the Twinkies. I haven't had a Twinkie since. No. no I'm 46. Way. That happened like 30 years ago. Haven't oh, had a Twinkie since then. That's yeah, disgusting. I mean, that, yeah. That's bad. No, I wouldn't was, have another one either. And yeah. every time I see them in the store, I want to buy it. But then I think but back to 30 years ago. You could like, cut it up just to see. I can't. I can't. I was traumatized. <laughs> like worms? Worms? Or like, like the little like, white ones? It was like a little worm like, in the Twinkies. Worm. I don't know. I don't know. So, no. Bad story, but... Yeah, that's my story. I if they got them free or something. Yeah. That's they donated them to yeah. school. Sure. <laughs> hostess. Yeah. <laughs> not hostess with the mostest. Yeah. <laughs> or at least not the most you want, anyway. Did so hostess close <laughs> down? Didn't they stop making Twinkies at one point? I think there was a thing. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I never wanted to Twinkie until they stopped making them. And then 
Mm. And then the last one I had was actually a deep fried one at the oh. fair. See, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to know there was a worm in it. Yeah. So I should. But it would have been dead. Deep fried. Deep fried. Deep fried. Get you back. They deep fried everything though at this fair. Were you in Texas fair? Um, Washington State Fair. Oh, okay, I need to. Yeah, go. it was. It, I loved. My kids loved the fair. Okay, what is your woes? Yeah, I'm not there. What is your wosa? So wosa is a reminder to relax moment. Do you plan them? Do you just wait for your body to tell you it's time? Do you remember to do it? Do you do it on your own? Do you do it with family, friends? Yeah. Um. Nope. I'm not great at that. <laughs> um, I occasionally that we were saying this earlier, but I, you know, a house full of boys kind of <laughs> like get to the moment where I'm like, I need a minute. Um, my husband sometimes will be like, you need a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and like you should go get a pedicure or like take a walk <laughs> or whatever. So um, I'm not great about it. I do like to go to yoga. I try to like go, I actually go to the local place up the street. Um, so I try to go a few times a week, but um, I am not great about scheduling downtime. Um, so need to need to work on that. But yep. yeah, it is usually like a, I can just go and sit and be quiet by myself yeah. and like scroll through Instagram or something yeah. for a minute and, yeah. and like regain my composure versus like needing to have to like, I don't know, do something like big and elaborate or whatnot. Right. To like, like I don't need to go to the spa or get a massage yeah. or whatever, but I can just like have a some alone time. Minutes, by it. Yeah. On your own. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll feel more. Than, well, like an, an hour. hour. An hour. Yeah. 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 Sometimes my favorite is to go out to lunch by myself. Yeah. I do like to do that. Ooh, I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. I'm the only one who likes a specific restaurant, and so I like to go there for lunch. Nice. They have really good margaritas. Okay. And I take a book. Where is this place? Chewy's. Oh, I don't know. That's, I, that's I from, love Chewy's. I love Chewy's, too. I didn't too. know you love Chewy's. It's my favorite place in we the should, whole wide world. You know, I, love their, I love their margaritas, too. I love their margaritas. And the maybe jalapeno sauce. Can together, sauce. together a pot. Yes. <laughs> Different tables waving. <laughs> it's our books. I want to just go there and read, and they'll just keep. And their chips are really good, so it's like my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes my husband and I will go on the weekends, and we'll just sit at the bar, the two of us. Yeah. We don't even talk. Like people think it's funny, but my husband and I go. He watches whatever sports are on, and I have my book. Sure. Yeah. And we're both very content. We're the couple that doesn't need to talk to each other and just be happy next to each yeah. other. We have well, very different. Good. Being able to be happy in the same room. Yeah, we're very concerned. People who are not happy with yeah. the same with their yeah. husband. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> we're not talkers, the two of us. <laughs> we're like chatty Cathy's in our house. <laughs> the problem is, is, he talks all day long for his job because he yeah. works in sales and marketing. So oh, when he gets he's home, he's just like, "Yeah, I'm done. I don't want to see another human being. I just want to be left alone." Yeah. Well, well Reggie works in sales, but he works from home. Home, so it's different so it's for different. him. He can have like eight meetings in a day, but it's still like talking to someone face yeah. to face is different than sure. you know, right now because he's working from home today, and it's like all day long. Like, wait, where are you going? <laughs> I, bye. <laughs> You'll be fine. I it's promise. Fine. Somebody will call you. <laughs> Somebody will be me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. If you had to sum up being a mom that works um, outside of the home in one word or phrase, one word probably may not sum it up. I've never met. We haven't talked to anybody who can sum it up in one word. No, because oh. it's like you need words to support that. Yeah. Right. Typically. Um, what would your one word or phrase be? I feel like we should have a little Ooh. thing going. Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. Last question. We need to get one of those. We had a phrase. I'm, I'm actually curious what other people have said, but when I was reading through it and trying to come up with answers, yeah. I feel like empowering was the word that I came oh, up with. Okay. okay. Um, I, I love that, like, I have three boys and hopefully they see their mom and mm -hmm. their dad as like hard workers who have like gone after things that they want to do yeah. even if they're scary or like difficult and um so i'm hoping that i'm raising boys that also like you know see that in the world and like want to do that for themselves take yeah. risks and like try new things and, yeah yeah so that was the word i came up with but i love it yeah. we have empowered. not had, we have not had empowered. Empowered. and that's a good word and that's why i love like we always give again i say this over and over again we say give the same set of questions to every mom and every answer is different yeah everybody's different everyone's different so you can kind of connect with the mom that maybe you wouldn't think you did based on their answers so you can kind of get rid of what you thought and kind of connect with them based on what how their life is not what mm -hmm. you think their life might be like i don't know well, thank you, Holly. We had a yes. wonderful time. Thank yes. you. I want to make sure you guys go to our website from daysteers.com. We have um, 
a blog that we will soon develop. We're, we're, <laughs> I know we're behind on that. But our podcasts are all out there. You can always ask questions and email us. And we also have some wonderful social media sites. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Yes. And also Holly has Instagram and... Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And a website. And a website, yeah. too. <laughs> and we'll make... I'll share all of them. <laughs> and we'll make sure we link those when we send out or upload this podcast or our show. We like to call it a show instead of a podcast. And we'll also um, send out some more information about her, too. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you're going from guilt to grace, from superficially managing your time to superbly managing your time. And share, share, share with your friends, family, or people you don't even like, but you think they need some help in their life. See you later, y'all. <laughs> Bye.